I've recently been watching a bit of Rage Train. There is a pretty popular series you got there. Hypixel Skyblock. Hardcore mode. Where no matter what, you must not die and grind everything yourself. And I'll be doing just that but on Crafter's Simpsy Skyblock. This is a bedrock exclusive server which is pretty similar to Hypixel Skyblock. Well, enough for the long intro. Let me tell you all the goals for this series. This will be an Iron Man profile. So no auction house, no trading and no gifts. And on top of that, I must not die and some little as child's play goals for this series is gonna be i have to get the most expensive armor set in the game which is roughly costing around 100 million coins <laughs> Not that expensive. I have to get at least one maxed skill and the second most expensive armor, Elegant Tuxedo. We might add more challenges to this series later but that is all for now. And for this first part, I need to get a very specific weapon. A weapon costing 250,000 coins. You guessed it, it's Raider's Axe. And I really wanna get level 10 in all main skills which is foraging, farming, combat and mining. And we'll start off from farming. And well after a bit of research, pumpkin gives most amount of XP plus coins which I do really need. So after getting some free coins from leveling up farming, I bought myself promising X which certainly, <laughs> certainly was promising. I mean just look at it, I'm farming so fast. We. And after a pretty decent farming session, I got to level 2, 3, 4 and 5. Bloody hell. Everything is back? What the f*** just happened? And after getting level 6, I sold all the pumpkins that I had and made some coins. Oh yeah, juicy coins. And after doing some off-camera grinding, I got to level 9, bought some XP bottles from this cute old lady and enchanted my axe with efficiency. And oh yeah, I almost had an orgasm farming these juicy ass pumpkins. Moving on, I was then able to get farming 10 and this many pumpkins. And after selling all these juiciest pumpkins, I made this much coins. Pretty good. But well yeah, after getting farming, I focused my mind to foraging. It was quite quick if you ignore the fact that my ping was... 900 plus god damn i had no idea how i was playing i was breaking wood at the speed of women's aging extremely slow but yeah after being halfway there to forging 10 i got to know a non-enchanted gold x is faster than an efficiency 4 promising x Bruh. this should is trash then what the heck but yeah, after a few minutes, I was done. I was finally foraging level 10. And well, this is the amount of wood that I got. I actually crafted a jungle log minion as well. So I can unlock jungle axe recipe quicker. Cause well, jungle axe is a queen of axes. Breaking multiple blocks at once. Oh yeah. Well, and after that, I needed an armor to go mine in deep caverns. Cause, cause if I die to those low life bitches, the challenge will be over in minutes. So I thought and thought and stumbled upon an armor which was bugged. I'm talking about the mushroom armor. In theory, it should have tripled my stats at night, but it was barely doubled. But still, I kept the armor and made dumb moves because I thought it would be a good idea if I get XP from coal mine first to enchant this armor before going to deep caverns. And soon after I realized, this is the slowest method possible to get XP. After a solid 30 minutes of coal farming, I got 11 fucking XP. Not to mention I also got mining level 5. What the f- So I knew I had to go to deep caverns to get the XP. Or I could have built a cobble farm but meh. I went straight to fungi cave and then I just started mining lapis and some redstone and and after like 5 minutes I unlocked the recipe for efficiency 4 book from redstone collection and got enough XP to use it on my pickaxe. Pretty cool. And just cause you will be hitting that fat black subscribe button, I'll give you a good mining montage. What's that? You won't subscribe? I'ma tickle your feet till you do. So you better subscribe.
well that was close but yeah we finally got mining level 10 and i also got this much redstone and lapis or so you thought i did in reality i got these many lapis and redstone and i did craft two of each respected minions level them up and place them on my island you will understand why in the next episode so now in total i had 22,000 coins and there's only two things left to do get combat 10 and get myself the radar sacks and as obvious as it may sound the next thing that i did try to guess it i went to mine ice good guesses everyone but you see you are like wrong you had no idea what i was gonna do did you well i did a little test with a pickaxe and a rogue sword i was able to get 500 coins in a minute that would be 30,000 coins per hour which is quite okay and according to my high iq math solving skills which definitely didn't require pythagoras theorem or heron's formula god i still don't understand why we learned all that so i'll get rest of the money to buy raider sacks in seven hours so i went to my main profile to test some more stuff and upon testing i found out that farming would be the best way to make money and a very specific crop that was pretty promising you guessed it my juicy ass pumpkins yes according to my calculations i'll make 3500 coins per minute so that's like 210,000 coins in an hour from seven to one it's quite good <laughs> But to actually farm these efficiently, I would need a farm armor, efficiency 5 gold axe, and that's it. So I did all the preparations and started mining some juicy ass pumpkins. And yes, I'll not talk And I finally had enough coins to get the raider sack. So I went to the big daddy viking and I completed his task and finally purchased the raider sacks. And if anyone of you is wondering how much time it took me to get this axe, here it is. I swear it's not intentional. <laughs> well, you may ask, what's the point of raider sacks? What does it do? What abilities does it have? Well, it increases your damage for how many mobs you have killed with it and your wood collection. Now time for combat 10, the most curious skill if you don't want to die. And so I began, got combat 5. Five combat 6 in the fungi cave but i thought it's a bit slow i wanted to do it as soon as possible because i was doing it for a lot of time and this lead me to diamond central my plan was simple i bought a short bow from the npc and shoot at him and whenever they become angry they just come towards me and then i can just hit them till the death but then this happened huh <sighs> i died my greed to get succeeded by picking a shorter route backfired me. And I guess this is the end of for this series. Sadly, we weren't able to complete all the challenges, but yeah, goodbye.